Hello everyone. If you decided to get something, don't let them go because of anything, no matter how much difficulties and challenges you are facing right now. I am mentioning the term right now because those problems and struggles are not perpetual. So be rigid, be brave, you will become successful. In this video, we will talk about problem solving strategies in detail. From today's topic, you can find many questions in various psychology entrances as you can see on your screen right now. In previous video, we talked about stages and types of problem solving with examples. So consider watching that particular video as well. It will definitely strengthen your understanding about cognitive aspect of problem solving. And don't forget to participate in quiz. As I told you in previous lecture, there are two questions in this video. 10 fastest correct respond will get a gift from UPS education. So let's begin. A problem solving strategy is like a road map. Each strategy has different steps and there are two main strategies to solve any problems that we are facing in our day to day life. Number one, algorithmic and number two, heuristics. According to Kahneman, algorithm is a problem solving strategy that provides a step by step instructions. I'm repeating it a step by step instructions to achieve or desired outcomes to solve any kind of problems. Algorithm can be useful particularly in those situations when accuracy is critical. They are also working well when we have to solve similar problems frequently, when we have to solve same kind of problem again and again. So we can say we can use algorithm model in many situations like number one, when we need consistency in solution means when we want same results again and again. Number two, when we want high accuracy and number three, when we need solutions anyhow. So we use algorithm for consistency, higher accuracy and for guaranteed solution. But there are few disadvantages too. Number one, it's time consuming, specifically for complex problems because lengthy steps could be tiring and time consuming. Number two, for some real world problems, an algorithm approach might be impractical. If there are unlimited possibilities of solutions, then algorithm model will be not applicable. This model we cannot use just because there are unlimited possible solutions. Now let's consider an example of an algorithmic strategy. Imagine that you have forgotten the code to unlock your earbag. You need to open that particular bag because there are important documents and you don't want to damage that particular bag as well. In this particular scenario, you can systematically attempt all possible combinations starting from 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 2, then 0, 0, 3 to 9, 9, 9. This method is a kind of guarantee that you will eventually open the bag. Because there are three combinations to open the bag, each combination having 0 to 9, with 10 possible digits for each section, you effectively have 10 multiply 10 multiply 10, which equals to 1000 combinations. If you systematically try all possible combinations starting from 0, 0, 0 and ending at 9, 9, 9, you can be absolutely confident that you will find the correct code anyhow, because the correct code must fall within the range from 0, 0, 0 to 9, 9, 9. So there is no chance of not finding the solution when you explore all possibilities within this range systematically. We can take another example. When someone consistently follows the same recipe with highly detailed instructions using the exact same ingredient and serving that particular dish in same environment, they will consistently achieve the same result. That's why I told you through algorithmic strategy, we can get consistent results repeatedly and we can also get guarantee of that particular solution. I hope you understood algorithmic strategy. Now let's talk about heuristic. Heuristic are rules of thumb that people use to simplify problems and is often based on memories and experiences. Heuristic save time and effort. 
बट इट डज नॉट गिविंग गारंटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन हिरिस्टिक आर मोर कॉमन दैट वी यूज इन आर डे टू डे सिचुएशन लाइक वी यूज पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस टू डिसाइड हाउ टू रीच पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी एंड विच वन वुड बी फास्टेस्ट दिस सोल्यूशन इज हिरिस्टिक बिकॉज यू आर नॉट डिसाइडिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑल द पॉइंट सिस्टमेटिकली यू जस्ट यूज पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड डिसाइड क्विकली That's why I told you heuristic is less time consuming. In 1989, Trit Canyon said that we are using different types of heuristic according to situations, but we use specifically in certain specific situations. Like when person having too much information, then they are using heuristic model. When there are limited time, if individual doesn't have time, then they are using heuristic model. when the solution is not so important then individual using heuristic model when information to make decision is not available that means individual doesn't have any piece of information to make decision then they are using uh, heuristic model and number 5th they said appropriate solution is in mind on the basis of experience that simply means when any individual having appropriate solution right in their mind they have solution they are confident that okay this will be the right solution of this particular problem in those particular situation they use individual use heuristic model so there are many types of heuristic but we use a specific types that we will discuss about those types that we are using frequently and that will be important for our psychology entrances as well number 1 availability heuristic number 2 representativeness heuristic number 3 anchoring and adjustment heuristic and number 4 recognition heuristic we will discuss about all these heuristics one by one what it mean we will also talk about one one example related to all these so let's begin with availability heuristic availability heuristic is a mental shortcut or cognitive bias that people often use when making judgment or decisions it based on available information or examples that individual having that's why we are saying it typically based on available information or examples that come into the mind very easily when evaluating a specific topic event or situation so when any individual involve in evaluating any topic event or situation to solve that particular problem if there are any then individual using those kind of solution that coming into mind very easily we call them this is availability heuristic this type of heuristic based on easy to recall this type of heuristic based on easy to recall media influences personal experiences so all these things we are using at the time of finding solution right what we are using easy to recall media influences and personal experiences the availability heuristic can sometimes lead to error in judgment and decision making because it is not reflecting the actual statistical probability of events we can take one example to understand it easily suppose people thinking much that they will face plane crash in near future or they overestimate that plane journey is dangerous and this thoughts that they are having just because they saw a news about plane crash but the probability to face plane crash is extremely low in comparison to car accidents so as i told you this type of heuristic is based on easy to recall if we are recalling something easily then we use them we are using that particular kind of information to think and to solve the problem now we are going to talk about second type of heuristic that is representative heuristic or representativeness heuristic this type of heuristic is based on likelihood of an event or the category in representative heuristic we assessing the similarity of an event or object rather than uh, considering the actual statistical probability of that particular event for example we can take one example imagine you meet a person ahana she is quiet introverted 
and enjoy reading classic literature in her free time. She wears glasses and has an introvert personality. When we ask, Ahana is more likely to be a librarian or farmer. Many people would reply quickly and they will assume that she is more likely to be a librarian. This judgment, this particular judgment, when any individual taking this judgment that Ahana is more likely to be a librarian, this judgment is typically based on representativeness heuristic. Because Ahana's characteristics and behavior fit the stereotype or prototype of a librarian, not a farmer. Now let's talk about anchoring and adjustment heuristic. The anchoring and adjustment heuristic is about finding solutions based on initial anchor point. This heuristic occurs when individuals rely too much on the first piece of information whenever they are making decisions. Even when that anchor point Anchor point means first piece of information. Those first piece of information, those anchor point is arbitrary, irrelevant or based on incomplete information. We can take one example. When you try to guess the price of a used car and someone tells you it's worth 2 lakh. That number can stick in your mind and you might think about car price around 2 lakh. No matter in reality price of that particular car is much higher or lesser. Fourth type of heuristic strategy is recognition heuristic. The recognition heuristic is based on identifiable options. Means if there are four options and one of them is familiar and other is not. Suppose that if there are four options, three options, one option is familiar and other options are not familiar, then in this situation, those familiar options will be correct even people doesn't have any piece of information about those options. So individual choosing solution or options according to familiarity. It is also happening in entrance exams. When you are reading the questions and their options, suppose only one option is familiar, then chances will be higher that you will choose those options as correct. You don't have any other information. You don't have information about all those options. You are choosing that particular option is correct just because you are familiar with that particular option. So we can say you may use algorithmic when you need to be accurate and want consistent result. But if there are shortage of time, then we may use heuristic. So hopefully you understood both strategies. Now quiz time. Question number one. The chess master selects his next move by considering moves that would threaten his opponent's queen. His opponent is a computer and they select their next move by considering all possible moves. The chess master is using fill in the blank and the computer is using fill in the blank. Option A, algorithm heuristic. Option B, prototype mental set. Option C, mental set prototype. Option D, heuristic algorithm. You can mention the right answer in comment box. Question number two. What is the fundamental distinction between an algorithm and a heuristic in problem solving? Option A. Algorithms are a specific inflexible sets of instructions for correct outcomes, while heuristics offer general frameworks for problem solving with flexibility. Option B. Algorithms and heuristics both rely on rigid step-by-step -step procedures with no significant differences in their approaches. Option C. Algorithms are quick, intuitive decision-making shortcuts, while heuristics provide detailed, precise guidance for solving complex problems. Option D. Algorithms and heuristics are terms used interchangeably in problem solving, with no distinct differences between them. I am much confident that you can answer now. If you have confusion about the right answer, then pause the video and uh, you can watch it from first part of the video.